social distancing, physical distancing, is the single best way to keep the people around you safe. What does that mean? It means keeping two meters between yourself and someone else. It means avoiding groups. It means staying home as much as possible. If you choose to ignore that advice, if you choose to get together with people or go to crowded places, you're not just putting yourself at risk, you're putting others at risk too. Your elderly relative who's in a senior's home or your friend with a pre-existing condition. Our nurses and doctors on the front lines. Our workers stocking shelves at a grocery store. They need you to make the right choices. They need you to do your part. We've all seen the pictures online of people who seem to think they're invincible. Well, you're not. Enough is enough. Go home and stay home. This is what we all need to be doing. And we're going to make sure this happens, whether by educating people more on the risks or by enforcing the rules, if that's needed. Nothing that could help is off the table. We are going to be uh, speaking with the premiers this evening uh, and talking about ways we can coordinate. We recognize that many uh, communities, many provinces have declared states of emergency. Uh, they have taken measures to close uh, certain public places. There is more that can be done. There is more that needs to be done around messaging, and that's what we're going to be talking about. But uh, every step of the way, if we see that measures aren't being taken up properly, that aren't being, uh, aren't being followed, uh, we will look at different measures that could be necessary to enforce these rules. We'd rather not, and we know that millions of Canadians are doing their part, uh, but uh, those who are not doing their part are putting at risk everyone else, including the eventual recovery of our economy and the well-being of uh, millions of Canadians.